this week on Tablet at Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use the new set control actions. So first thing we need to do is create a subcategory set. So I'm going to right click on subcategory, create set. I'm going to pick up any set, any subcategory. I'm just going to call this subcat so we know what we're referring to. I'm going to add it to color and also add it to my text so you can see what's going on. I go to my dashboard, it makes it easier to set up the actions. So if I go to dashboard, actions, change set values. Now the first one we're going to do is we're just going to call this subcat and we're going to change it to the subcategory set and we're going to leave these values as they were. So this is how the set used to be. So if I hit OK and hit OK again. Now if I click through one of them, each one is just going to change and I, if I hit command it's then going to multi-select those but sometimes you don't want to click command and you do just want to click the individual items. Now this is where the new set controls come in. So now we have all of our values in our set. The first option is to use the set control to remove values from our set. So if we go to dashboard, dashboard actions, click on our subcat and this time we're going to select remove values from set and then change it back to add all values to set. So this time whenever I click off it's going to add all my values back to my set. So let's see that in action. So hit OK, hit OK again. Now whenever I click that chairs is going to then go out but also so is accessories and so is furnishings and supplies and now when I click off of the bar it's then going to um, put them all back into my set. Again just clicking on them and we can add them all in. You'll notice that um, there is no um, highlighting option. There is a cheeky little highlight action so if I just show that, edit that it's just using the true field. So that's just a single value across my whole data set. The next option we're going to do is we're going to do add values to set. And this time you're going to remove all values. So essentially what this is going to do is whenever you click on an item, it's then going to add it to the set. And when you click off, it's then going to remove all the values. So I hit OK and OK again. If I just click this one, nothing happens, but when I click off, they all remove. So now I can add binders, machines, and accessories to my set. And again, if I click off, it's then going to uh, take them all out of my set. Now what you can do is if I go to dashboard, dashboard actions, I can then change this to say either keep set values or add all values to set. So if I keep set values, what's going to happen is if I click through and I click off, it's going to keep those three, which is fine. But then if you get to this point where you add them all in, you then can't remove them all. The other option that you can do is you can use the menu option. So you can choose whether you want to add or remove. So I'm going to go to dashboard, dashboard actions. I'm going to change this one and this is going to be um, add to set instead. And we're going to add values to set and keep set values as it is. So I'm going to click OK. Um, in fact, edit that one, change it to the menu. Hit OK. And then we're going to add another action, which is remove from set. And this time we're going to again put it on the menu, change to the subcategory and we're going to have remove values from set and then keep set values. Hit OK and hit OK again. Now when I click on it you'll see that these pop up in my tooltip so I can now remove this from the set. I can remove this one from the set. I can highlight all those four and remove them from the set and it's going to keep that value. I can now click on binders and add it back to my set. 
So there's lots of different options that you can do with the new set actions. So again, under dashboard, dashboard actions, if we add a new set value action, it's these sections at the bottom that you need to play around with. Some of the running actions will contradict the clearing actions. So just be careful when you are setting these set actions up. That's it for this week.